Welcome to Tulum Terraza Sessions with Tristan Gatto. I'm Tristan Gatto. If you're new to me, I've been a physical therapy professional for over 10 years and also a celebrity yoga trainer. I've worked with companies like Procter & Gamble, Capitol Records, and also celebrities like Suzanne Summers. But my biggest passion is helping people just like you get out of pain, get out of stiffness, and start feeling better in your body right now. So today we're going to be doing one of my favorite releases for the hips, and you're going to use just a really easy... Um, tennis ball or this is a little kids like play ball that you can buy at the dollar store really easy and what I like is it's rubbery and it's got some give to it so you don't want anything that's too hard because it's it's a bit uh, intrusive to the tissues you just want to be able to be comfortable when you're rolling out the piriformis muscle so the piriformis muscle is a muscle that connects from your hip bones on the side of your hips and connects to the inside of your sacrum where your tailbone is connected to and your pelvis and that helps to externally rotate the hips and what happens with that muscle it's a muscle that fans out the sciatic nerve runs right behind it and when it gets tight the muscle pinches down on the sciatic nerve and then that causes some sciatic nerve pain. So a lot of times sciatica is mistaken for piriformis syndrome and the piriformis tends to get tight from sitting chronically, from weakness, things like that. So if you're not actively strengthening your glutes, you can find that the muscles closest to the hips are getting really, really tight because that's their job is to protect and keep you moving for a lifetime. So you're going to end up using this ball today to release the hips. This is also found in my number one selling and top rated uh, neck and back pain course, the 14 days final reset. And I'll tell you a little bit more about that at the end of this video. So we're going to start today on your back. You're going to grab your ball and we're just going to spin around and where you're going to place that ball. This is the number one question I get. Reach back, find your sacrum and then find your hip bones, slide around to the center of the glutes and this is where you're gonna put the ball. So right around where you find the hip bone right here and straight back to where your sacrum meets, right in through here. And that muscle fans, it connects here and then it fans across and attaches into your sacrum. So go ahead and start onto your back and keep the ball handy. Let's just center in on our back using your core control to slowly come down and just breathing and relaxing and taking a breath in through your nose and exhaling out through your mouth. Breathe in again through your nose. Exhale out through your mouth. Three more, inhale nose. Exhale mouth. Inhale nose. Exhale, mouth. Last one, inhale, nose. And exhale, mouth, beautiful. Just start to pump the knees in one at a time, lifting it up and down, marching the knees into the chest just to mobilize your hips, warm up the hip joints. No worries, no judgments. You can take the hands overhead if you choose just to open up the chest. And I always like to move and warm up a muscle before I start to release it. We want to encourage some fluidity and circulation into the muscles that allows them to release a bit more. And now take that right knee in towards your chest, inhale, and as you exhale, sweep that knee out and around active circles. Deep breath in, exhale out, deep breath in, Exhale out, deep breath in, exhale, deep breath, exhale, last one, deep breath in, and exhale out. We're going to take the left knee now in towards the chest, breathe in, exhale out and around, inhale, exhale, deep breath in. Exhale out, two more, breathe in, exhale, deep breath in, and exhale out, good. Hug both knees into the chest, take a deep breath in, curl up into a ball, and exhale, just release out of it, 
keeping the knees into the chest, curl up again, breathe in. Exhale out. Two more, breathe in. Exhale. Last one, breathe in. And exhale, bring the feet down, take the arms overhead, and you're just gonna rock the knees side to side. So massage and open up the glutes with the floor. So you're using the floor to create pressure onto the glutes, rolling the sacrum around, rolling the gluteal muscles. I'm just breathing here. This is really gentle, really easy. Now the thing is when we start to use the ball, this is gonna be really tender. So just take your time with it. Uh, you'll, you'll know when you're on that piriformis. Again, if it's pinching too much on the sciatic nerve, of course, back off. You don't want any tingling, numbness, or burning, or a sharp shooting pain down the legs. So we want to avoid that. All right, bring the feet onto the mat. You're going to lift up. Again, find your hip bone as your guide, and then trace it straight around. And you'll take that ball and just slowly lower on it. From here, extend your leg just a little bit, and then you're going to pump that knee in and out and go slow. It'll be tender. Mine's tender. <laughs> and you can just rock on the heel. Just breathing. And exhale. And just stay there and breathe. Take your time and feel free to move the ball a little bit too. Shift it over just a touch, find another spot, come down on it if that's real tender and then go ahead and move slowly through it. Awesome. We're just going to stay here for just a minute. You can do this with your fist as well, too, if you want to lay onto the fist. It doesn't feel great all the time on the fingers, but if you're in a bind and you don't have a ball, you can also use the knuckles in the back of your fist. Beautiful. Go ahead and take that ball out of the way now, but keep it handy because we're going to use it on the opposite side. Go ahead and just move that hip around now and notice what you feel. Notice the freedom in the space and also the space in the SI joint, the low back and your pelvis. Beautiful. Then you can also test the other side and be like, oh, okay, it's a little more stiff on that side. So we're going to again feel for the hip bone and slide the ball right in line with that hip bone, lower down, and then just begin to rock in and out. No worries, no judgments, take your time. And just breathe, relax. It's not a really fast motion. Just take it nice and slow. Go ahead and reset that ball if you need. Like sometimes it'll roll out from underneath you. No worries, no judgments. Just breathe and relax. Take your time. Awesome. Okay, let's take that out from underneath and go ahead and mobilize that hip. So always just mobilizing the tissues after you release them and you can set the ball aside you're not going to need it for the rest of the practice. That's just something you can do at the end of your day. Beautiful. Let's slowly begin to roll towards our side, taking a deep breath in, and you're going to come up into a wide sitting posture. Again, if you need, feel free to grab a pillow and go ahead and sit on that. If it's hard for you to be down on the floor, no worries, no judgments. And from here, you're going to take a wide stance in the legs and just begin to rock the knees and move in and out of internal and external rotation in the hips. Reclining back on the hands, moving the hips in and out. Beautiful. So now we're going to rock the knees over to your right and we're going to sit up into a stag position, zip and lift up from the pelvis and then just slowly come down to your elbows. Stretch into the right side and just breathe here. 
So this little stag half pigeon pose, really working into that piriformis muscle, stretching and relaxing. This is a really chill, gentle practice today. Just breathe and relax. If you'd like a little bit more, sweep your left arm around, right arm onto the floor, and then you're just gonna rotate and look towards your right arm. Now it'll give you a little bit of a twist, a little bit of a rotation. Hold here and breathe. If not, you can come up a little bit higher and rotate this way. All good. Slowly come out of that now, breathe in. Sit back and we're gonna rock the knees and neutralize out and notice what you feel here. Very gently now, slowly rock the knees over to the side. Left side now zipping and lifting up and then slowly walking your way forward resting onto the elbows again if you want that twist right arm comes in front of you left hand to the side and you'll just gently rotate stay here breathe again remember you can come up and rotate this way and work your way down whatever feels good no worries no judgments and just breathing and relaxing Nice big full inhales and exhales. And just taking your time here. Slowly and gently come out of this inhale, sitting back towards your hips and rock the knees side to side. Really letting this go. And so now we're gonna come onto hands and knees and open up the pelvis. You can move the pillow out of the way. Hands are nice and strong into the mat. Hips are above the knees and the shoulders are above the wrists. And you're just going to begin to press the hips directly side. So that hip bone that we were just working, we're going to push it right to the side. Stay here. You'll feel that stretch into the hip. Breathe in. Exhale, come back to center. Breathe in. Press the hip. Exhale, come back to center. We'll take that two more times. Breathe in. Exhale, back to center. You're doing great. Stick with me. Deep breath in. Exhale, back to center. Opposite side now. Press the hip directly side. Breathe in. Exhale, back to center. Three more times. Breathe in. Exhale, back to center. Again, inhale, exhale back to center, and last one, deep breath in, and exhale back to center, beautiful. All right, gliding cat and cow to open us up. Again, if you need, go ahead and pad your knees as well. Dive forward, inhale, slide, press through the chest, exhale, and glide back under. Inhale, moving the spine. Gliding through those hips, exhale and rounding. Pressing through the full length of the fingers to support the wrist, inhale, exhale. Once more, breathing in, exhale. Last one, breathe in, and exhale. Good, come to tabletop now, widen your knees out. Bring the toes in and you're gonna slowly press the hips back. Stretch into the hips, walk the hands out, and just relax your forehead to the ground. Taking a deep breath in, and exhaling out. Another deep breath in. Exhale out. Deep breath in. Exhale out. Deep breath in. Exhale out. Slowly and gently walk your hands back to your knees. And we're gonna shift off to the hips and just begin to swing the legs around. And we're gonna bring the feet together, hands back, take a deep breath in and you're gonna drop your knees over to the right, stretching out into the hip, into the low back, little rotation, stretch into the chest. You can look over and up towards that left side, really stretching into the pec. 
good. Bring the hips back. Sweep it to the opposite side. Press down. Lift up and look over the shoulder. Breathe in. Breathe out. You're doing great. Stick with me. Deep breath in. And out. Deep breath in. And deep breath out. Good. Okay, go ahead and grab your pillow. Taking your time, sweeping around, coming into a comfortable seat. And a few just little spinal waves to open up the hips. We'll dive forward. Inhale. Exhale, roll it down. Inhale. Glide through the spine. Exhale and roll it down. Three more. Breathe in. Exhale out. Two more. Breathe in. Exhale out. Last one. Inhale. Bring the arms all the way up. Unite the palms looking up. As you exhale, bring your thumbs to your brows with clarity and thought. Bring the hands towards your mouth. Speak kind, honest words. And finally, settle at your heart space. Give a kind, open heart. Take the energy you feel now. Let it vibrate throughout every cell of your body and send that energy out to your loved ones and maybe even a perfect stranger. And know that the best and greatest in me honors and recognizes the best and greatest in you. Thank you so much for joining me today. Namaste. And Beyonce. Well, thanks so much for joining me. If you love this video, feel free to like it, hit subscribe, and turn on your notifications for more sessions from the Tulum Terrassa with Tristan Gatto. Also, feel free to check out my number one rated neck and back pain course, the 14-Day Spinal Reset. You can find the link in the description of this video.